Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, my lovely Gemini. So this is going to be your daily reading for your general energies and also for your love energies. Gemini, let's see what's coming up for your general energies guys before moving on to your love energies. Gemini. With the release, the virtue, with the self-love, what I'm getting here, you're releasing old patterns, old ideas, maybe you're entering your past time and you're kind of like going towards it. So what I see here is that you have a lot of insight into a particular situation before you go towards it. Okay, so today will be a day where you're playing a lot of indoor games or a lot of outdoor games you're just like spending more time with the people that you love like with the things that you like to do and with the things that you're inspired to do okay so you will be wanting to do something or the other that you feel inspired about or that you feel like you need to accomplish into a physical reality so you will be more of concentrating on such things okay You'll be concentrating on things, what you need to do, what you have to do in order to accomplish or so and so. So you'll be more concentrating on the things that you have to accomplish into a physical reality. And that is the overall vibe that I'm getting here for you all. Okay. So I hope you got the overall energies, guys. This is all I see for you here, for your general energies. Let's see what's coming up for your love energies, guys, okay? your love energies we have the happiness the strong be strong and face your challenges how can you Rahul greet the dawn and step into light so with these cards for your person's energies and for your energies okay for your person's energies your person is ready to face any kind of challenges in order to get you back they're ready to do whatever it is to kind of get you back into their life that's all i see for you here they're ready to focus on life they're ready to accomplish whatever it is so they're in a very positive energy that's all i'm getting here this person's really positive they will do whatever they have to do and they are really concentrating on the things that they need to accomplish into a physical reality so they are really working towards their dreams goals and things that they need to kind of succeed or should be successful on so your person is working on their dreams and goals okay that is all i get for you here your person is working on their dreams and goals Also, what I'm getting here is that everything is going right for your person. Whatever they're doing in life is kind of like manifesting into a physical reality. And they're really happy with how everything is turning out to be for them. Okay, whatever the situation may be, they're just kind of happy with everything. And they're feeling really excited to deal with life, whatever it is. Okay, they're generally really happy with everything. They do whatever it is in order to accomplish things and their life is generally happy and with a lot of enthusiastic 
memories and all of that so but if you ask what are they trying to kind of like do in their life what are they trying to accomplish and all of that i really think this person wants to make things right they want to accomplish certain things into a physical reality i see here and they'll do whatever it, it takes to kind of achieve things whatever they want to achieve they'll kind of they'll kind of go to that extra level to achieve whatever it is into a physical reality okay So this is all I see for you guys. I hope you got the overall energies. Your lucky color for today, my lovely Gemini is yellow and your lucky crystal for today is how light. Bye guys, see you all tomorrow. welcome back to my channel my lovelies so this is going to be your general reading guys for your uh, general energies and for your love energies so for those of you uh, who want a general reading as well as a love reading this is definitely a right place that you've come so let us just start off the reading my lovelies i will lay out three piles here and each pile for each group of y'all so let us just start off with the pile number one two and three i hope these cards are visible to you guys so you can choose one of these piles make sure to meditate for about three to four minutes before you choose any of these piles or um, just open your eyes, close your eyes for 10 minutes and open your eyes and the pile that you feel the most drawn to is the pile you choose, okay? So I hope the cards are more visible now. So I will be starting with a pile number 1 here. So this is pile number 1, 2 and 3. So you can choose any pile you want and then go to the timestamps that I give in the description box below. Uh, that you will find the timestamps or you will find the timestamps in the comments uh, some of you please paste the timestamps in the comments and you can go click that and watch the reading and thank you all so much once more for joining me here let us just start off with a pile number one now i'll just keep out all the other cards aside okay so we have the pile number one now here we have the ten of pentacles so the pile number one is all about stability the ten of pentacles definitely represents stability it represents partnerships it represents holding on to someone too tight holding on to some things that you feel is worthy enough so you guys have something that is worthy enough in your mind that you want to hold on to tight or this person feels that you are worth it you are worth sacrificing a lot okay so this person definitely feels that ten of pentacles with you they feel like you are like a complete package you're beautiful you're intelligent you have all the characteristics a person should have and this person definitely feels a bonded connection when it comes to you guys okay so that is the main reason why we have the ten of pentacles here this person feels a bonded relationship with you and it's not just a bonded connection it is also like this person thinks about you most of the time they, go, they want to always spend time with you they want to always be around you and they even feel like the ten of pentacles can even mean like a financially stable situation so they feel like you are someone who is financially stable they feel you are someone who 
um, knows uh, what to keep things, you know what to do uh, in a particular situation. So this person definitely adores that character about you guys. They definitely like how you are, the way you are, everything that you do. Generally, especially with this card, that is the overall energy that I can see here. Ten of Pentacles. I will just kick out some more cards, guys. This person with the Ten of Cups, oh my god, this person definitely feels that you are enough for them. Ace of Cups, yes. A lot of emotion. Uh, this is like a more of like an emotional connection filled with a lot of trust, a lot of love. Uh, this is uh, These cards usually comes for uh, people who are grounded in their relationship. Mostly that connection is very grounded. It can be a twin flame or mostly a soulmate connection, if not a twin flame. But anyways, guys, this card comes usually for higher connections. It doesn't come uh, for low vibrational connections. So again, that is the other thing that I need to specifically say because that is what I can see for you here. Um, definitely with these three cards. Okay, so I hope you got everything that you need to understand for the pile number one. Now I'll be moving on to the pile number two. Okay, so file number two, we have the seven of wands. Wow, so seven of wands, this card is all about partnership. It is all about protection and it's all about fighting for what you love. So if there has been a situation where this person was protecting you or you thought they never protected you, or you had a bad uh, situation with this person, you never felt like they protected you or whatever it is. I can definitely see with these cards that this person does protect you. This person does love you. They do love you. They do care a lot for you. And they're willing to manifest whatever it is with you guys. Okay. That is what I can see here with a seven of wands. They're willing to do whatever it is when it comes to you because they care too much for you. And again, with the Seven of Wands energy, mostly I can see that this person's thinking about you most uh, always. They're thinking about how they can manifest a relationship with you, how they can grow a connection with you. They do have a lot of thoughts coming up in their mind and most of the thoughts uh, does involve you guys. Okay, it does involve you, does involve what they want with you, it does involve how they want to manifest things with you and all of those amazing magical energies. And also this person will definitely support you in all kind of situations. For example, if you're, if someone is opposing this relationship or if someone is against you both, I definitely say that this person will help you. This person will support you. They will. They wouldn't take other people's side. They will definitely take your side and they will support you and you don't have to worry about that energy much. Okay. <clears throat> I'll just take a few more cards, guys. We have Page of Swords and we also have the Seven of Swords. So with these two Page and Seven, both swords, I can definitely see that uh, this relationship will... Uh, go a long way but there needs to be a lot of compromises uh, made in this connection for it to go forward there need to be a lot of understanding between you both because if you are going to continue with this misunderstanding or with this misunderstanding situation then this might not be possible and i'm really sorry to say this it won't be possible okay so please make sure to understand this person completely please make sure to do what you're supposed to manifest what you're supposed to manifest and yes that is it that is all i can see here with these cards guys okay with the page of swords and with the seven of swords definitely i can see here that uh the focus is on you and this connection okay the focus is on you and this connection with this person okay so that is all i can see here my lovelies 
I hope this reading really resonated with you guys. And bye guys. See you all tomorrow. Bye. Now I will be moving on to the pile number three. <clears throat> so we have the five of wands for the pile number three. This card is all about looking after one another or taking care of your clan, taking care of the people that you love. So this card usually comes when you are taking care of the people that you love or you're taking care of the things that you feel connected to or so it's just a caring energy here so this person definitely cares for you they're looking after you it can also be like a hiding and looking after energy if uh, you've been far away from this person or definitely if you've been like in a situation far away from this person or maybe like you are in a separation state long distance relationship I can definitely see that they are spying, they're seeing you from a far distance, especially with the, the tower card coming next. All I can think about is how this person wants a connection with you and what are they doing to come towards you to have this uh, final relationship with you because this person does care too much for you to give up on this connection with you guys, okay? If you're wanting this person to give up on this connection with you, if, you're, if you are wanting to, this person to give up on this relationship with you, it is going to be tough for this person to give up on this relationship, okay? Because they're coming towards you for a reason. Uh, they want to be with you for a reason. They're making it happen for you for a reason. And yes, guys, that is also what I can see for you here, my lovely... So again, this person, whatever happened between you both, it is definitely going to be in the past. Because right now, all I can see here is that this person cares too much for you. They think about you most of the time. And they're even willing to do whatever it is um, that involves you guys. Okay. So thank you all so much for joining me here. Bye, guys. See you all tomorrow. Bye.